what's up you guys it's caboose bringing you another marvel's avengers video and today what i got for you guys here is a first look at spider-man in marvel's avengers as well as the updated roadmap for the content coming to the game throughout the rest of 2021 now before we get into everything i wanted to ask you guys of course if at any point you enjoy the video if you could consider leaving a like rating on it it would show your support and i would really appreciate it so if you enjoy the video at any point leaving a like rating would be awesome also if you're new here and you want to keep up to date on all things marvel's avengers i got you covered i'll be making videos on all the news updates reacting to trailers and gameplay making videos on upcoming dlc like spider-man and new heroes that we'll be getting beyond that and all that fun stuff so if that sounds good to you make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live lastly wanted to remind you guys that i'm sponsored by g fuel you can grab yourself some tubs some shaker cups some cans some starter kits or get yourselves the venom let there be carnage g fuel the link is going to be in the description box below just make sure if you grab anything that you use code caboose at checkout and with all that being said let's get into this okay so the roadmap for marvel's avengers was officially revealed today and this is to quote the content that is coming throughout the rest of 2021 this is not going to be content that is coming beyond this year so anybody who's thinking that spider-man might be delayed to 2022 based on this roadmap that's not going to end up being the case. So you're seeing the roadmap on screen right now. Of course, in August, we had the War for Wakanda expansion. That's officially been launched. We got Black Panther. We got the Wakandan biome. We got new villains, a new story. All that fun stuff has launched. It was pretty fun. I enjoyed Black Panther. He's a fun character to play as. I do have my gripes. I do have my complaints, but we're not going to jump into that. Then in September, we have the Black Panther MCU suit, as well as the one year anniversary of Marvel's Avengers. We're going to get community activities such as the Priority Mission Rush, Cargo Runner Synthoid, Flashback Rewards Cash, which I'm not very excited about, to be honest. I was hoping there would be something bigger for the one year anniversary of the game, but I guess due to unforeseen circumstances or maybe the work from home conditions, they weren't able to deliver on that. But then we got returning events such as Corrupted Vibranium, Red Room Takeover, Tachyon Anomaly, and the Cosmic Threat. Again, not very excited about that. I feel like all four of these should be permanent modes in the game and not modes that come for a limited time, especially the Red Room Takeover. There's quite a bit of fun to be had there, and it's like an upgraded version of the Harm Room Challenges, so I don't know why that isn't a permanent mode. It should be, but I guess maybe that'll end up happening in the future. And then we have the first raid for Marvel's Avengers coming to the game. We're going to have to confront Claw in their first raid and i was told by the developers that this is not going to be like any of the content in the game already so it's not going to be like a over glorified omega level threat the raid is going to be a raid so i'm really looking forward to seeing what that's going to be like and how challenging that content will be then there's going to be a new hero event in spider-man being added to marvel's avengers only on playstation new enemy types called the echoes a power level cap increase and then they reworked system on resources and gear upgrade, which I'm glad is coming to the game. A Hawkeye nameplate from the Disney Plus Hawkeye series, earnable cosmetics, and more outfits inspired by the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But the most important thing about this roadmap, especially this picture, is if you zoom in real close there, you can see our boy Spider-Man is on the roadmap. We get a first look, a glimpse at the character in game and i will admit i am kind of excited to see spider-man with the avengers i am looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like to play as the character alongside the avengers how he's going to interact with them who he's going to be voiced by i'm hoping maybe it's yuri lowenthal coming back to voice the character and yes i am excited for spider-man being in marvel's avengers but i will tell you why i am immensely disappointed today and that's because that little glimpse of spider-man that little first look is all we got and the character is going to be coming at the most in four months now some people were speculating that maybe we only got this little glimpse at spider-man because there was going to be a full reveal during the playstation state of play tomorrow however the avengers social channels have debunked this they said here marvel's avengers will not be a part of playstation showcase on september 9th but we can't wait to show you more in the coming months so no, there's not going to be any big Spider-Man reveal tomorrow during PlayStation State of Play, which again is incredibly disappointing. I do have a tinfoil hat theory though. And if this tinfoil hat theory is correct, then I think it is excusable as to why we didn't get a full on reveal for Spider-Man today. My tinfoil hat theory is that Marvel Spider-Man 2 is going to be revealed tomorrow. 
during PlayStation Showcase, and they didn't want to overshadow the Avengers Spider-Man DLC with the announcement of a new Spider-Man game. They want the marketing for Spider-Man in Avengers to have its time to shine and not be completely overshadowed by an announcement of Marvel Spider-Man 2 tomorrow. So my tinfoil hat theory is that they're announcing Marvel Spider-Man 2 tomorrow and they want everyone to get excited and get hyped about a new Spider-Man game coming to the PlayStation 5 exclusively, I assume. And then after the dust has settled, after the hype has kind of calmed down a little bit, they're going to start the marketing train and the marketing hype for Spider-Man's DLC in Marvel's Avengers. If that tinfoil hat theory does not end up being correct, then again, I don't know why we didn't get a full-on look at Spider-Man in this game today. I will bite my tongue until tomorrow, but if there is no Marvel Spider-Man 2 reveal tomorrow, then there is no excuse why we didn't have a head-to-toe look at least at the render for Spider-Man in the game. I mean, if anyone remembers, when Black Panther was first revealed to be joining Marvel's Avengers, it was four months from when the character actually arrived in August. He was revealed in March during a Square Enix presentation, and then the DLC arrived in August of this year, just last month. So that's a four month window. We are at that same four month window for Spider-Man. If he launches at the very latest on December 31st at 1159 PM, 2021, that is four months from now. So I feel like we should have already gotten at, at least just a look at the character and his design in the game, and at most, a CGI trailer, a cinematic trailer, like with what we got for Black Panther. If he was being pushed out into 2022, I would be more understanding of this. And if my tinfoil hat theory is correct, I will be understanding of this. But if neither of those things are the case, then I feel like there's no excuse. I don't mean to always have something to be harping on the developers with in every video I have for Marvel's Avengers. Believe me, I feel the passion that Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix have for this game, for these characters, for this world. I have met some of the developers and they're great people. They're always setting out to make a good game to provide an entertaining experience for everyone. Nobody there at Crystal, at Square Enix, and anybody who's working on Marvel's Avengers has the intention of making a bad game or doing something that is not exciting for everyone. But there are a couple of missteps along the way that as a content creator covering the game and having my voice be amplified to a community of people who like or dislike this game, it is my duty to say something about this, to provide you guys my opinions about this stuff. And in my opinion, again, barring that what I just said doesn't end up happening, we don't get a Marvel Spider-Man 2 reveal tomorrow, there is no reason why we shouldn't have a full look at Spider-Man today. In Marvel's Avengers, that is. They did mention some more stuff with Spider-Man on the State of the Game blog, which I will leave linked in the description box below, by the way. I'm not going to go over the entire State of the Game blog, just specifically what they said regarding Spider-Man. It mentions here, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Finally, there will be a new playable hero with a hero event starring Spider-Man in 2021, only on PlayStation platforms. We'll have more information on Spider-Man closer to launch, and you may catch a glimpse of him here and there along the way. I, I want a little more than just a glimpse of him here and there along the way. Give me a full on reveal, please. Listen, I guess just time will tell. He's gonna be coming out at some point between now and December. So I guess we can look forward to Spider-Man being in Marvel's Avengers and there will be some sort of full reveal, I'm sure, really soon. So keep an eye out for that. I'll make sure to cover it once it's revealed right here on this channel. So you guys can subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all things Marvel's Avengers. And with that said, I now want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. First of all, on the updated roadmap, does the new content that's on the way excite you or not excite you? Sound off in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support. And I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose. And you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel. Or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have an opinion. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.